Shorty tell me she gon' let me smash. On God, bro. I just wanna bust and get the cash. On God, bro. All this hatin' just gon' get me mad. On God, bro. Every day we turn up to the max. On God, bro. Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Davis, the camera guy at JMavs Inc. And today I'm gonna be teaching you a music video effect in Final Cut Pro. It's the BPM head effect that everybody likes to use in uh, new music videos. And I think, you know, it's a very easy way to do it in Final Cut without having to, you know, clip up a bunch of clips. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So first you're gonna clip up uh, the section that you want. You know, just mark the section that you want and clip it up. You choose that. So this looks good. delete those and then we're gonna listen to the track and find the areas where we want it to hit so we're gonna get our adjustment layer put the adjustment layer down and then we're gonna go and put the plugin that's actually gonna make the BPM hit work and that's the screen pump effect from Ryan angle I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out um, you're gonna add that to the adjustment layer and as we're gonna just zoom in and then we're gonna cut just a tiny piece and delete the rest of the layer so as you can see you got the little hit at the beginning of the frame a little hit that's what we're gonna be using and you can see he has all the controls up in the right part of the screen where you can change the zoom, the swirl blur, the RGB. But we're not going to get into all that right now. Uh, let's continue to move forward. So what you're going to do with this is we're going to listen to the clip. And we're going to find the hits inside of the uh, audio. And you're just going to, every time you find a hit, you're gonna hit the M, you're gonna hit M on the screen and mark it. So you just let it play and you hit M, 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 M. So you have markers to show you exactly where the hits are. And then you're gonna copy that adjustment layer right under the marker. And you're gonna Command C, Command V, copy and paste until you get as many of those that you want. Just like that. So you should look at something, you should have something like this where you see the hit effect actually, you know, coming into the plate. So what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna copy our main file and create a duplicate. And we're gonna drag that under our BPN hits. And then we're gonna go to the inspector tab and scale that to 150%. Then we're gonna change the opacity to 32. Okay, so then we're gonna go to our effects tabs and we're gonna search up prism. And if you haven't used dynamic prism, I feel this one works best. As you can see, we have our BPM RGB split. And it's already throughout the whole clip, but we don't need it throughout the whole clip. So what we're gonna do is, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut by the adjustment layer, the areas that we need. Just like that. And then we're gonna delete all the areas we don't need. And it looks something like this. So it's starting to come together. Okay, so from there, as you can see, the BPM hit is rendered out and it's actually, you know, starting to look like what we want it to be. 
So we're gonna go back to the adjustment layers, put an adjustment layer over that and put a letterbox so you can get a cinematic music video effect along with um, the BPM hits, just so it looks cleaner. Let me just adjust it the way you want it. Uh, play it back. And that's basically it. Uh, RGB BPM hit music video effect. So guys, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell button at the bottom to always be notified when I drop new music video effects, new music video tutorials. Um, the link in the description to my Selfie store, you can go there, you can pick up some presets for Lightroom, you can pick up some LUTs. I just recently released a LUT pack, I'm going to leave that card up above in the video. But thanks guys for checking this out and I'll see you guys in the next one.